Hi, everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll be taking a look at talented vocalist and performer Wendy of Red Velvet's beauty transformation from pre-debut to now. Wendy has gone through many physical changes throughout her career, with no changes appearing as drastic as those undergone following her 2019 performance accident. While the beautiful Wendy has been very successful as a member of SM's incredibly popular girl group, Red Velvet, it seems she has always struggled to feel comfortable in her own skin. Now let's begin with Wendy's pre-debut appearance. Here we see a young Wendy at a time when I believe she had had no surgical procedures done. On the right, we see Wendy shortly after debut. The first changes I notice are to Wendy's eyes and nose. Taking a closer look, we can see that Wendy's eyes, once narrow monolids with noticeable epicanthal folds, have been made larger and more open by way of double eyelid surgery and an epicanthoplasty. Looking closer at Wendy's nose, we see that her naturally bulbous nasal tip, wide alar base, and low nasal bridge have been transformed. Now, we see a narrowed nasal base and bridge. Here's another pre-debut photo of Wendy to further highlight these changes to her nose. You'll also notice that in narrowing her nasal base, her nasal tip has begun to droop downwards. This has resulted in a more downturned appearance to Wendy's already downturned nasal bridge. Arguably the most significant procedure performed on Wendy is jaw reduction surgery, often referred to as V-line surgery. Wendy started off with an average jaw, not overly narrow nor square, and perfectly in line with her features. However, it seems Wendy opted to have her jaw reduced prior to debut. While there aren't any photos that clearly show Wendy's natural jaw, we can still see that Wendy's natural jaw angle has disappeared. This is because the mandible bone has been partially or fully removed. Here is an example of how cosmetic jaw reduction presents on the female face. We see that the jaw no longer has an angle to it, but instead appears to reach all the way up to the ear in a narrow, straight line. We also see some loose skin below the jaw, where the mandible once sat. This is a common consequence associated with jaw reduction surgery. Looking at Wendy's side profile here in 2014, we see a very similar look to her jawline. We also notice the same looseness to the skin below the jaw. In 2015, Wendy debuted a new, subtly changed appearance. We see an increased prominence to her chin, elongating her face overall. I believe Wendy has since continued to use chin filler to varying degrees. Taking a look at Wendy's 2014 nose compared to her 2015 nose on the right, we see a nasal base that appears more narrow, with less flaring. From the three-quarter view, we can see that Wendy's nasal tip has become even more downturned. As the base is brought increasingly inwards, the tip becomes pinched and droops downwards. Take a look at Wendy's lower face here. Keeping in mind that Wendy did not experience any weight loss between these two photos, it becomes arguably clear that Wendy had a bichectomy, or a buccal fat removal procedure. Her face appears significantly more narrow and contoured. This procedure made the then 21-year-old appear significantly older. Moving on to 2016, we see that Wendy has had some veneers placed. We see a broader and more perfected smile than we did prior. The most significant change to Wendy's appearance during this year was to her eyes. Taking a closer look at Wendy's eyes, we can see that there has been a subtle lowering of her outer eye corners. Let's take a look at this other comparison shot. I notice eyes that appear longer with increased scleral show and increased waterline show. While this procedure can be carried out differently according to the patient's desired look, lateral canthoplasties essentially work to reduce the canthal tilt of the eye while also increasing the eye's length laterally. This is what we see on Wendy. In 2017, we see more changes to Wendy's appearance. Firstly, I notice a change to Wendy's nasal tip, it appears as though it's been clipped, reducing its downward tilt. You'll notice that Wendy's eyes appear more narrow, this is a consequence of overfilled under eyes. We also see overall fuller cheeks, with little distinction between them and the lower eyelids. 
This, I believe, marks the beginning of Wendy's filler usage, which will continue until present time. Wendy's eyes also appear longer, it looks as though she's had another epicanthoplasty, further opening up her inner eye corners. I also see an upper blepharoplasty, as the skin which once lay above Wendy's double eyelid creases appears to have been cut away. Lastly, I see fuller, plumper lips on Wendy, I believe she has now begun receiving lip injections. In 2018, we see a reduction in cheek filler, although I believe she is still getting injections. I still see a fuller face than that of 2015, I believe Wendy is trying to mitigate the aging effect of buckle fat removal by having filler injected to areas of lost volume. During this time, I believe Wendy opted for another allerplasty. We see an even narrower nasal base with a pinched look. I also suspect Botox usage during this time. Wendy's use of Botox will only increase from here on. In 2019, I don't see much change to Wendy's appearance. We see Wendy maintaining her look with a possible increase in filler usage to the entire face. We see a rounder, softer look than we did in 2018. At the end of 2019, Wendy suffered a terrible accident and subsequently went into hiatus to recover. Wendy sustained several injuries to her face, amongst fractures and other injuries to the rest of her body. After re-entering the public eye in 2021, Wendy quickly drew attention for her changed looks. It was clear that Wendy's face was still in the process of recovery during this early TV show appearance. She looked to still be quite swollen. While Wendy made many public appearances in 2021, I've decided to only use reference photos from 2022, as I believe Wendy's work is mostly settled at this point. Here we are in 2022, and we see many changes to Wendy's appearance. One major change is Wendy's nose. Wendy has always kept her downturned bridge and tip, even through all the refinements. I believe Wendy opted for a full rhinoplasty, possibly a silicon implant, to create a straight and tall nasal bridge. Wendy's nasal base and tip have also been further refined. This rhinoplasty is very different from all of Wendy's previous nasal procedures, it really transformed her face. Wendy has always experimented with chin filler using various volumes of filler to both the sides of her chin and as a means of increasing chin projection. Looking at this comparison photo, we see a very significant change to Wendy's chin, one which I believe cannot be achieved with only filler. This is a chin with very strong projection and a hard look to it, one which signals the presence of an implant. While Wendy has used lip filler for many years now, it appears that the recent increase in her lip size is a result of a lip lift or filtrum reduction, we see increased lip flesh show and a more defined cupid's bow. We also see a certain flatness to Wendy's upper lip, a common consequence associated with lip lifts. I do suspect Wendy still uses lip filler to achieve a more exaggerated look. Looking at her eyes, I believe Wendy has had her inner eye corners opened again alongside another double eyelid procedure to deepen and reposition her creases. One very noticeable change is Wendy's eye length. We've never seen Wendy with eyes this open and long before. Taking a look at this comparison photo, I believe Wendy has had another lateral canthoplasty, further lengthening her eyes laterally. We now see a long, cat-like eye on Wendy. Wendy also appears to have scarring left behind, we see white discoloration marks at her outer eye corners. Let's take a quick look at Wendy's hairline. It is very round, with the hairs appearing very thick and symmetrical. I believe this is the result of a hair transplant. Wendy may still be in the process of her hair transplant, so we may see a more natural result with time. Here's an example of a post-hair transplant result, and here is Wendy. Wendy has struggled through a lot of emotional and physical pain, especially in recent years. In current Red Velvet promotions, Wendy appears incredibly bright, happy, and confident. I hope that this time in her life marks the beginning of a new, successful phase of her career, and a happy phase of her life.